In this quick video, I'm going to show you how to accurately locate the datum surfaces on your part while using an edge finder. So right now I'm set at about 1000 RPMs and I'm going to turn on the spindle and then I'm going to slowly move the table on the X axis and what you're going to see is the contact point is going to become increasingly concentric and then it will jump off center. As soon as it jumps off center, I stop the table motion and I'm going to zero out the readout. After I zero out the readout, I'm going to lift the edge finder above the part. I'll probably shut off the spindle and then I'm going to sh move the table half of the diameter. So in this instance, it's 0 0.250. If I was using a 0.200 contact tip, I would move it 0.100. And what that does is that aligns the center line of the spindle directly over the edge that you just edge found. So as soon as it jumped, I stopped rotation of the handle, I raised the spindle, shut it off, and then I reached up and I zeroed out the readout in the X axis. Now what I need to do is move the table, my .250, which was half of the .500. So there it is, I moved over the 250 and the last step is going to be to zero out the axis that you just edge found. Now I like to encourage my students to do this. Now I like to encourage my students to do this really quick eyeball test. You can just center up the contact point like so, bring it down to where it's slightly above the part and then look at it from this direction and I want to show you what that looks like. So as you can see, it's pretty clear that this c contact point is half off and half on the part. If you see this image or something similar, you can be pretty sure of yourself that you've edge found your part correctly. And the great thing about this is if you forgot to do your .250 shift, your edge finder would look like this. And that's pretty obvious that you're missing something. As you can see, edge finding a part is very simple. Just follow these directions, double check your work, and you won't have any troubles with this.